Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, um, judging by the titles, you probably know we are doing a scroller box opening, but today is a little bit different uh, because I've been super busy at work. I actually have not one, not two, but three scroller boxes to open. Oh my God. So I have um, torn on, open the, the box so they're easier to open, but otherwise that's it. I don't even know, <clears throat> I don't even know what dates they are. It must be April, May and June. Um, I'm not sure which school box is which. So we'll just, I guess we'll just open it up and see what happens basically. Uh, so, this is first one. Okay, so this is June. Okay, yes, yeah, so they have it on the theme, so let's do it in order then. May. Okay. So, we have April scroller box. Okay, so that's the artwork there by Cecilia. I'm going to butcher her name. Anchistic. I can't say it. She's only 21 and she's doing stuff in Scrawler Box. What the hell? God damn it. Um, so we've got some toned drawing paper. That's very thin, 110 GSM. Okay. So it's in like a, a tan um, drawing paper. <clears throat> we have a nice heavy graphite Stadler um, sharpener. Sticker. April 2022. Walk on the wild side is the scroller challenge. Oh. So we have a uni pen fine line brush pen. Wow. That's cool. So this is like a super, let me see if I can show you, there you go. It's a super fine brush pen, like really, really fine. Water and fade proof pigment ink, nice. I have to say that's probably one of the main things that I do quite like about scroller boxes is all the like different fine line pens that you get through. We have an eraser. I literally am going to be swimming in erasers and sharpeners soon, I think. And then we've got some Derwent pencils. Okay, so we have Derwent Chromaflow pencils in green, like an olive green called foliage, dark green basil. Golden Sun, Black, Raisin, and White. <coughs> mm. Sorry. Okay, so there's all the colours there. Um, <laughs> okay. Let's have a look in the magazine. Where's my sweet? Mm. Must have worn that. Okay, so I'm just going to look at the pencils because they're a bit more unusual. I think that we'll use this. Derwent Chromaflow pencils times six. Uh, bold, vibrant, saturated colours. So they're wax based, uh, uh, easy to blend. Should sharp on toned papers as well, even black. Cool. That's pretty cool. my pile to go in the recycling. Okay, I'm most happy with the pen, I think, to be honest with you. I've got a lot of colouring pencils which are better than these, so it'll be interesting to try them out and see what they're like, um, especially on the toned drawing paper. I've used toned paper before, I have the Strathmore toned paper, um, but because it's like a little bit more expensive, I don't tend to like use it that much, so it'd be nice to have something that I can just use for like, you know, little quick projects. So that's fun. There's 
this one. So we have Scrawler Box May. Open it up. With a cute little boiled sweet. Okay. Sticker. Well, we've got some water. Hmm. Flowing figures. We're, ex we're encouraging you to experiment personality through watercolour. That don't look like watercolour to me. What? Okay. Right, we'll start with this. Ooh, Pentel automatic pencil. Love Pentel. This is 0.5. Oh, cool. And it's got a little pressy thing at the side. That's pretty cool. So that's a, the pencil there. It's nice and chunky. Yeah, like that. Okay. Mm. We have a paintbrush. Pur it's a purple scrawler box. Um, this is a cat's tongue paintbrush. So you can tell it's a cat's tongue because it's kind of almost like goes up to this point here. I wish I knew what brand it was from. Zahn, German brush maker. Okay. Ooh. A needable eraser. I do love a needable eraser and it's yellow, so that's cool. Very exciting. Okay, what the heck? Exclusive Peerless Watercolours Palette. Huh? Okay, this is different. Um... Mm. These are... Okay, they're watercolour sheets, so we've got 12 colours. That's quite cool. I'm assuming it's this side. It must be. Oh, well, the, name is, the names of the colours are printed on the back of each sheet and the pigment is layered on the other side. Okay. That's very interesting. That one looks weird, doesn't it? It's a bit shiny. Okay, so we have Arlie's Opera, which is like a, a ready pink colour. Jacqui Jacquemin, can't even bloody say that. Jacquemino Red, just like a red colour. Alizarine Red. Weird. These are going to be really interesting. I think I'll do some swatching at the end of this video as well for each box. Peacock Blue, Alice Blue, Turquoise Blue. That's what the pigment looks like. Matte and Green, Heliotrope, Ecru, which is like yellow. Cambodge yellow, Bismarck brown, and then we have neutral tin, which is just like a grey colour. Intriguing. I've never had watercolour on a sheet. I'm going to keep them in this little um, plastic just to keep them safe for now. Oh, the artwork for this one's pretty cool. I quite like that. Alicia Yetzer. Oh, Ali Bean. Oh, no way. I love, 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 love their work. I follow them on Instagram. Yeah, so it's her. Her work's amazing, like it's, it's insane. If you haven't checked out her artwork yet, you really need to. Um, 
she does beautiful, beautiful artwork. Very, very cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to um, try this out. It's very cool. She does all these amazing portraits as well. Definitely worth checking out her art. Love that. That's going up on the my little gallery wall of school box stuff. And we've got some watercolour paper, 10 sheets, mm, 190 DSM. That is thin, Scroll box. That is thin. I prefer my watercolour paper to be a little bit thicker, but never mind. Um, cool, okay. That's that one. Very exciting. You guys know I love watercolour, obviously. Um, so it'll be really interesting to use like a different version of watercolour, because obviously I'm used to using tubes and like half pans. Um, so that will be very cool to see what that is like. Very exciting. So finally, June scroller box. Ooh. We have a Swizzles stinger. I'm very excited. Scrollazine looks very high. It looks like the like Schmincke watercolour paints I've just done a video on. Um, okay. I'm not going to look through there. That's the artwork from the artist. So Renata Patton. Oh, Gremren! Yeah, I love her stuff. She does these amazing, like, colourful um, animals. Uh, so they're, they're all, like, really unusual colours, and she uses a lot of, like, paint pens and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what we've got in here. Electric Dreams. Hey, look, it matches the, uh, the sleeves. <laughs> I don't know why that excites me. Okay, so we have, these are, what the hell are these? Pilot Pintor. What in the heck? These are markers. <clears throat> So we have red, yellow, green, and apricot, which is like a peach colour. Vivid markers, they're water-based ink, resistant, opaque, dry very quickly. Will dry permanent. Oh, cool. So you can layer them. It's pretty cool. Okay. Interesting. Ooh. We have what looks like a purple micron pen. Cool. Yeah, it is purple. Love that. Fade proof. See, I love scroller box for these little things. I love getting all these little random pens. I mean, look, we've got like a fine line brush in the last one, and then I got this cool like mechanical pencil. So it sounds bizarre, but I think I prefer that more than the actual like paints and stuff sometimes. Um Frisk X scroller box. So we have some Bristol board paper, 10 sheets, 250 GSM. Oh, that is smooth. Yeah, that's nice. Lovely, smooth Bristol paper that's for the artwork. Cool, okay. Let's have a look in the magazine. Yeah, here we go. So this is Gremren, Ren, <laughs> Grem, Ren's artwork so you can see it's these like colorful cute animals I tried to do a giraffe um in a similar style uh, before but I wasn't very good at it she just she has this amazing ability to pick her colors like so so well and I just don't really have that yet um she's a fantastic artist so <laughs> she has about 70 Posca markers isn't that insane 70 um and her artwork's really, really fun. It's kind of like pop arty, uh, and it's really unique to her. She's on TikTok as well, so please do have a have a look. She's got great, great um, style. Okay, so that's the three boxes opened. Should we swatch them? I think we should. Should we do a bit of swatching? 
Yeah. Let's swatch them. Yes. Okay, I'm going to take you so that you can see, like, down, and we're going to do a little bit of swatch drawing. So, yeah. See you in a minute. So we're going to start with um, <clears throat> just sort of swatching the pencils. So this one here is the basil colour. These are the Derwent Chroma Flow. They feel quite nice. Seem to blend fairly nicely. This is the black, lays down pretty nicely, quite smooth. And then we have the white, yeah, very creamy. Decent coverage as well. This is Golden Sun. And Raisin. Ooh, that's very creamy, that one. Yeah, they blend pretty well. I'm actually really happy with these pencils. They're really nice. They blend really, really well. Let's have a look at the fine line pen. Wee, Yeah. Super fine brush pen. The flow of ink isn't as good as I would like it to be, personally. But not bad. I'm going to swatch some of these cards. So the first one we've got here is the Arlie's Opera. So apparently it's this side that's got the pigment in, so I'm going to pick up some water with the brush. So this is a really interesting way to use the watercolours. Um, they seem to be laying down very nicely, the pigment. I don't normally use a huge amount of red in my work. It's quite nice to have something that is a true red though. A lot of my reds are a little bit more on the pink side, whereas this one here, that is a true, true, almost blood red. Now I will say, 
that um, as you can see I've already managed to transfer some of the pigment onto the paper with my hands so I guess that's a consideration to have when using this type of watercolour pigment. Hmm, very, very interesting. Let's have a look at that. So that's that one that we used first. It's cool. I've got peacock blue. I would not say that's a blue, personally. That's a green. <laughs> If you ask me, but it's a very pretty green. I don't know if anyone ever, um, in England we used to have these sweets uh, that were all sort of very artificial colors. And that kind of reminds me of those sweets. And I like the some of that pigment that I've managed to pick up. Mixes well though. It's nice, isn't it? Weird, it's so like weird. Uh, Alice Blue next. And again, there's that pigment that I've managed to put on the page. Paper has definitely walked. I haven't really used that much in terms of water, um, but it's definitely walked. So it is, like I said earlier on, I, I personally prefer my paper to be um, a bit thicker than that, and this is why. that beautiful heliotrope. Let's hope that the colour looks as nice as the bit on the back. It's a really lovely purple. This is Ecru. So those are the watercolours that came in the May pack. It'd be interesting to know what happened here. I don't think I added that much water. Um, yeah, they're cool. They're interesting. Very, very interesting. Some nice colours there. Pens. So first of all, we've got the Micron pen in purple.
Okay, cool. So these are definitely neon um, in colour, which I don't mind to be fair. Um, yeah, they're all right. We'll see what I can make with those. As you guys know, I'm not the biggest marker fan, but I do really, really like Gremlin's uh, stuff. So we'll have a look and see if I can maybe do something that's inspired by her. Um, and I will do another video when I'm doing those. Okay guys, I hope that you enjoyed that video. So obviously, as you can see, I have a lot of things to play with now. Um, there's a few really interesting uh, supplies in the last few months of Scrawler Box. So I'm gonna see what I can create. I'm really pleased that they had Grimren and um, Arlie Bean as well uh, as their sort of artists of the month because they are really amazing artists and I do think you should go and check them out if you aren't already following them. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I'm really excited to give these a bit more of a try, uh, especially the colour pencils actually. I think they're probably my favourite supply that I've received in, this, uh, in these three months. Um, just because they seem really good quality, they blend really nicely. I wish there had been a few more colours, but that's okay. Um, it's a subscription box at the end of the day, what more do you want? Um, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with those products. And of course, I'm going to have a play with the neon markers. These will actually go really well with my new Schmincke watercolour paints. If you've not seen that video yet where I swatched the new Schmincke watercolour paints, they'll pop a little card up here if you want to go and check that out because they are beautiful um, but otherwise I will see you in the next one if you have not subscribed already yet please do hit that subscribe button and hit the like button if you like this video it really does help um, support me and it helps just boost my videos with the um, algorithm as well and supporting me in becoming a successful artist I'll see you in the next one talk to you later bye